Good day, dear friends. Uh, welcome to Exercise. My name is Chrissy. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, all right, this is a very interesting product. So, um, again, I'm experimenting. You know, I go through a phase where I just experiment, experiment on things that I've never tried before. It's always good to do that because you never know what you're, what you're going to come up with. Hi Cherry, hello there, welcome, thank you for keeping me company today. Alright, I'll just explain some of the supplies that I've got before we get into the oils. So, oh hang on, maybe I can do this. What I'm using, oh no, let's do this. The surface that I'm using today uh, is... Uh, it is canvas, but it's canvas in a pad. This is, uh, well, self-explanatory, 345 GSM. This comes in pads uh, like an A3, like 30 by 40 and uh, 24 by 30 centimeters. It's canvas and it's made by Claire Fontaine, you know, my favorite paper people. Um, good for oils and acrylics, 100% uh, cotton, not bad. Uh, I think this is really good for those who are perhaps maybe sketching ideas and are thinking of a great big canvas or a great big project. And I think this is uh, a really good way to go. Uh, no stretching, no, no anything. And so, and I'll just show you uh, the weave. There it is there, the weave, which is really, really interesting. Uh, it is it is canvas. I know I'm flicking it like as if I'm flicking uh, paper, but it, it's canvas. There you go. Really interesting stuff. Now, look, I, I suppose you can gesso it. Of course you can. You can do all the things that you normally would with uh, normal canvas. Okay. The oils now. All right, I was, um, I have been eyeing these off for a bit. So it's not something that, um, you know, is new to me. Water mixable oils are oils that you can rinse with water. No, this is water. Okay, so no solvent is necessary here. Now this product I feel is, in general terms, is really good for those who have got allergies, who maybe paint around pets and stuff like that. Um, and you know, or if you can't be in a ventilated area, this would be perfect. Um, also, uh, uh, sorry, before I carry on, um, I'm not sponsored. I have not been paid to do this. This is something that I have purchased myself. So this is something that my opinions are my own and I'm not, um, you know, forced in any way to talk anything good or bad about it. It's just that I'm experimenting. Uh, all right, so the colors that I chose to play around with, uh, I've got um, a couple of yellows. I've got a cadmium yellow hue middle, it says. A lemon yellow. Let's just put this aside for a moment. Because I want to see how they mix. Hi, Nuria. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, okay. A couple of reds. I've got matter red, poppy red. So there we go. A couple of blues. I've got azure blue, uh, ultramarine blue deep. So there's my primaries. Uh, and I thought I'd get a few other colors which would help me mix. So I've got a magenta, beautiful. Uh, I've got a, a cobalt turquoise hue, beautiful. That helps me make some really beautiful colors. Uh, a lovely deep dark violet, lovely. Uh, I've got a, a natural burnt sienna and of course a titanium white. Now when you look at the tubes you can see that there's a whole heap of stars on here, 
So the light fastness is good. Hi, Ali. Hi, Angie. Um, oh, Ali, you'd be interested in this with all the light fastness and pigment in. But these are oils. You're, I know that you're into watercolors, but you know, it's pigment information. Uh, okay, so you know, um, and of course, you know, like the normal, you know, titanium white opaque you know transparent semi 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 transparent semi opaque um all of those inf all that information are on the tubes and i just and here we go the pigment information is on the tube as well so there we go pb29 ultramarine wow single pigment for that one what's that one PO 71 since when are you okay well there's one single pigment there P oh there are two pigments with this one matter red uh, PR 207 and PR 264 interesting uh, the cadmium yellow cadmium yellow hue middle we've got uh, PY 184 PY 155 and PO six seven so you know you've got the i'm just trying to find another single pigment here we go py3 single pigment lemon yellow perfect for mixing perfect for mixing here we go uh pbr7 natural burnt sienna perfect for mixing pv23 Perfect. All the single pigments are fantastic. P071 is transparent, pyrrole orange. There you go. There you, and it says, oh, hang on. And it says transparent. There you go. There's a little, there we go. So, just some interesting things when you're looking for oil paints. Water mixable. Honestly, uh, I have no mineral spirits around me whatsoever. It's all water. And the other medium, and I thought I'd just get this medium. Uh, it's a painting medium uh, and it's thinning. So I guess, I don't know. Is it safe? Well, it doesn't smell. And um, it's something that... Oh, there is a little bit of an odour, but nothing much to, to carry on about. So, yes, very nice. All right. I've got my little container so I can pour some in here. So bear with me. Uh, and I thought I would just... Um, I thought before I start painting on this, I thought I would put some... I, I would show you... Uh, some of these as they lay down and maybe do a bit of mixing just so you can see how they work so of course I'm going to get my single pigments um, okay PB 66 indigo is light fast in oil paints but not in watercolors oh interesting well I know Ali you know your stuff about pigments oh hey hang on here comes the oil Some people get a bit funny about the oil coming out, but I don't. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. And remember, Norma Blue, that's the where it says blue, that's the water mixable part. Because uh, Schmincke make quite a few, uh, there's a handful of oil types that they make. They make the Mussini. They make Norma Professional. Uh, Norma Blue. Uh, and there's a few other ones. There's Norma Academy. And I think one other one. So, um, yeah, uh, make some other ones. So, I, I, they've, you know, and I tell you what, and of course, water mixable paints are not new. They're not new. Uh, the, uh, the other brands that make water uh, mixable paints are Holbein, Daniel Smith, Winsor Newton, Royal Talons. They're ones that um, that I've found. There's probably a whole heap more. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to it. Uh, and I think what I will do is do the single pigment. 
and this is the poppy red which is P071 and it's transparent transparent like Ali said and transparent like this says as well okay all right well let's have a look oh hang on and py oh no i did that one sorry i beg your pardon okay they're the ones i've mixed um well let's have a look lovely and buttery mixing beautifully oh they mix lovely they're nice and buttery wow that's pretty good when you want to um you know sometimes you don't want to add um any mediums um, i'm just going to put down some titanium white so i can use some of that okay now as you know or maybe you may not know uh, oils was my first my first love I have many loves <laughs> now I have many loves but uh, oils was my first oh lovely they mix very nice no problem there and mind you I've got my dogs in the studio so I'm not worried um, I don't because I, I'm not using solvent and um, oh that's nice okay well that's good um, those two colors make a nice green of course you can do lots of other things but let's see if we can make a really nice purple Oh, it's not purple it's because it's that color let's have a look if I put magenta oh hang on one way to tell okay that didn't make a purple for me she made a really good skin tone let's try magenta it's not the paint it's the the color hi Abigail hello hello okay let's see if I can make a nice purple with azure blue one of the blues there we go maybe move that move that Yes, yeah, so oh, here we go. There's a lavender. Yeah, that um well that's a dark lavender. That's probably not good for mixing a purple. That's poppy red. I just made that muddy. You can always tell when you add white what comes out of it. Oh, that's a, a very lovely, lovely um, background color that you could use in the distance for uh, for landscapes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, let's try. So they do mix nice. Only my color mixing matter red. Let's try the matter red. That might be better for a purple. Oh yeah, there we go. I must have used that was more. It's more orange, isn't it? Of course, I'm not going to get. That's why. That's why I got all muddy because it's orange. I should know that. Okay, that poppy red was an orange pigment. That's why it made a muddy color. Yes, there you go. I just, <laughs> I just said that. Yeah, yeah. I just realized it. I just realized it. Yeah. All right, so, and that's why pigment information or 
knowing your pigments is pretty good. All right. Oh, that's that's a lovely purple. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so, and it's usually when you mix the, it's a lovely mauve. There we go. And that's why, as Ali would say, yes, and it's interesting, it's the pigment information when you're, when you're mixing. Beautiful. Anyway, this is really, really nice. I'll keep these colors. Um, so what I'm going to do also is I'm going to uh, sacrifice a sheet to show you how it all paints um, hang on let's do that and I'll show you about the medium look I have no idea I'm these are all I'm just testing things out so and experimenting always the best way to find things out by experimenting so what I might do let me see uh, let me move these aside. Uh, all right. Oh, I never thought of that. Hang on a sec. All right, brushes. Uh, look, I'm not using anything specific with brushes. Um, water I'm actually going to this is water by the way so strange me doing this because I've never used water for oils and I just wanted to wet my brush and uh, let's have a look how it how it paints down Honestly, and it rinses out. It, it, it feels like watercolour. I don't know. It feels like watercolour. There's that muddy khaki brown that I made. Uh, feels very nice as I'm painting. I haven't needed to use any medium at the moment, which is really cool. Just putting down some colors that's all and seeing what happens there's white okay all of these are gonna turn muddy if I if I'm not careful how to mix them so which they have already but anyway so what I'll do is just let me blend really nice and water yeah really cool if you've got pets and really cool and look how it washes out my washes out really nicely that's all right hey uh, I have to say goodbye now see you later okay Ali thank you so much for popping in to say hello okay hi hope all uh, hi all hope you're having an awesome day and night yes thank you hope you're uh, hope you're having an awesome day so far Vivian all right so I'm going to have a crack at doing this apple what I'll do is I'm going to Uh, hang on a sec. I can see this is not going to turn out good. Oh no, hang on, we're okay. 
Uh, the palette that I normally use is, is normally a glass plant, uh, palette. Uh, I a glass palette, and I normally scrape it off with a with a scraper. But anyway, all right. I'm going to do an apple, and I'm going to use. Uh, let me see. Matter red. I'm going to squeeze out matter red. And it's always good to see it in a um, project when you're playing and things like this you know I've never used I've never used wick water mixable paints ever so this is very very new to me uh, so uh, has anyone had any experience with uh, water mixable uh, oils have you ever gone down that track um, because wow I know I've done that I've done that uh, I'm gonna use this to make just having a look at the pigment information PW6 PW7 and PB153 so there's blue and white in this and I'll get the ultramarine blue as well that's so I, I can makes a few diff I can make a few different greens. So as you saw before, a bit of oil came out. See, that's nothing really to worry about. Uh, all right, so here I go. Um, is that where I put my? Oh yeah, my brushes are here. All right, simple apple. Uh, simple apple. I just see how it all works. Ah uh, yes, you should do always, not always, but it's probably best to um, uh, mix with a palette knife. Uh, that way, you uh, you know you prolong your your brushes life by doing that. But you know, I'm not all that fussed. I know people might be a little bit more. Don't do that. Don't do this. Oh, I, I get it. I understand. All right. Okay. Now this color, uh, where was it? Is uh, semi-transparent. So, yeah. I'm going to mix some skin tones with this after this apple. Uh, and not rush this apple, I believe. I won't rush. Um, I hope everyone's week's been going really well. Uh, see, so far I haven't needed to use any medium. These paints are, are laying down very nice, very buttery. It could be one of two things. One, it's Schmincke, <laughs> which is probably the one. Um, or two that they're water mixable. I'm not quite sure, so uh, I don't know. Okay, yes. Uh, yes, I have the Royal Talons water soluble oils still sealed. <laughs> they terrify me. Oh my gosh, if anyone's going to experiment, it is you, Abigail. I swear, you should just get. Well, what about me? This changes the, this, you know, and I want to know what the big hype is about not using water mixable or them not being fashionable to be used. Um, you know, and I was one of those people, okay, so I'm not saying hand up, but, um, and I thought, you know what, give it a go. Yes. Well... I think if you start off, yeah, I think if you start, I think if you start off slow, oh, I really love these. Jeez, I miss oil, oil painting. I miss it so much. I think what I missed was, is the mess. I think what I don't miss was the mess. And I think 
If I'm using water, then it's not so bad. Vivian says, yeah, I am. Uh, last night I won the Hangers Prize at the Tinbera Art Show. Oh, fantastic. That's fantastic. Are you going to... Um, oh, Vivian, you have to... Um, you have to put your... You have to put your... Um, if you can, if you've taken a photo of it, uh, let us know uh, what uh, what painting it was. So we can all congratulate you all together. I'm wondering if you could use water instead of a medium. Well, so far, okay, there's the water. Okay, here's the medium, which I've it's, it's on standby actually, by the way, because... Well, I bought it because I wanted to try it. Oh, by the way, yeah, I bought all of these. I, they, no one gave me these, so I bought these. Uh, hmm. Well, this is, yeah, I'm using water, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, I'm just putting this on a bit dry because uh, I'm just about to... Uh, I might need to use a bit of the burnt sienna. Let's put that down. And really, when it all boils down to it, these sorts of colours, a burnt sienna, a black and a white, and you're good to go. Okay, there's the oil coming out. You're good to go when uh, for mixing. Yeah, they take forever to dry. I know, Abigail, I know they do. I know they do. <laughs> I know they do. But, you know, you know. Yes, I know they do. And, of course, I know that you get impatient. So <laughs> that doesn't help. That does not help. And you know what? It washes off with water. And you can just wash your brushes with soap and water. There's a few, there's a few things to consider. Okay. Oh, okay, Vivian, you'll put it on Facebook. Wonderful, wonderful. Um... Yes, yeah, so and this is probably the best way to uh, to practice is to do something like this you know sacrifice a sheet or two um, that's what I would be doing I tell this to people and they they go yeah no nah, they're not really into Uh, and I'll tell you now, the colours that they've got in their in the water mixable range, uh, they've got, I think it's 48, 48, yeah, 48 high quality, brilliant colours. That's, that's how they describe it. Um, yep, yeah, that's how they describe it. I suppose all you need is something that's going to uh, that you can mix. So I, I just think it's really cool that I can use water. <laughs> Hi Helen, hello, hello. Yeah, 
Well, you know, with the brushes, though, I, I, I know that when you're brushing, you brush and you're holding your brush at the end and you're, you're brushing at a, at a distance, you know what I mean? You're brushing at a distance. But I like the short handle ones. Probably because I'm filming like this and uh, I much prefer that. Um, yeah. Uh, I have to say, this surface is really nice too. Really nice. You know what? Claire Fontaine are one of my favourites. They're one of my favourites. How long for this to dry? Well, funny you should ask, Angela. Funny you should ask. Because last night, I thought, when I was um, getting all of this ready uh, for, uh, for the live stream, uh, I thought, you know what? I better, I better just put some paint to, uh, to canvas so I don't look entirely stupid and making sure that this thing does work. So, I know. Oh, hang on, let me just do this. Sorry. So what I did was, something I prepared earlier there it is there I was playing with these last night and there it is there and this morning no there's still so they dry like normal oils so this will take a while to dry so that's the answer to your question how would you dispose the water wondering if it is different from acrylics uh, I imagine the same I imagine the same. Uh, that's something I haven't really got into. Uh, I suppose you would have to um, dispose of all of these things quite um, carefully. Uh, you know, I have uh, bottles and things like that around me to, you know, put this in. Like I can't just maybe dip this down the sink. I don't think so. But, uh, but that's a very good question. Uh, okay. Oh, Helen, the surface is uh, by Claire Fontaine. This is a pad of canvas, and I know Fredericks make one as well. I'm that's the one that comes to mind. I don't know any other ones. I'm sure that there are many. Uh, I I know. Uh, no, Arsh make the paper for oil, but this is actual canvas. As you can see, look, the weave and everything. So, it's all right. It's all right. I do love these. I do love these. Wow. Yes, I can definitely see me painting, uh, painting with these. Most definite. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it takes as long as regular oil paint to dry. Yes, it does. Okay, uh, <laughs> so smart. Of me. Yes, I thought, hmm, I better have a go and see if this actually, if this stuff actually works the way it says. You just don't know, hey? Well, it's in most cases, it's not really, it's really the painter, it's the person who's painting that, um, that might make the difference. So, anyway, well, you know. It's like if the, if, so, if, the, if something goes wrong with a computer, it's usually not the computer. It's usually the, the user. So I'd have to say, in my case, yes, the user. But no, this is um, all right. I'm, I'm really liking this a lot. And yes, I'm going to have to wait forever and a day for these to dry. But that's oil. That's oil for you. But I do like the surface. 
very nice okay um love the cap uh yeah love the canvas pad oh, oh nice pads pads of canvas yes okay uh sorry let me go back uh Avigail says, with a fast drying medium, it can take a few days. Absolutely, you're right, Avigail, yes. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you can mix these with other uh with other oils that are not water mixable, but then remember, then these lose the water mixable properties that it has when you start using it with the other oils. But you can mix these with other oils so you know if you decide that you don't want to go through the uh, water 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 soluble stage um, yeah oh I like these I like it a lot I like it a lot okay I like it a lot um, yeah the canvas bag uh, yeah the camp this is really good for when you want to you know sketch things out practice um, you know I think I mean I got this from where I work I think it was around about the $25 mark for 10 sheets okay of canvas um, I think that's really good value for for something that you want to practice on but not only practice on this is good for it's good for painting like you know I no. I um totally recommend this. I like the fact that I can dip this in water and I like this part of it. You know? I like the water rinsing action. And cherry this is very controlled okay because I know that you like control uh, I know that you like controlling you know like uh, really cool this is a good medium to get into if you're trying other things oh yes oh, I'm loving this yes yes Uh, sorry uh, let me see um, okay as long as it okay and Helen says uh, it yeah uh, with a fast drying medium yep love the canvas pad yep I uh, you use the Fredericks yeah I've got the Fredericks one as well uh, this is a really nice weave by the way uh, action has the cheaper version of this pad action What's action? Is there a brand called Action? Okay, I have a couple of practice pieces that turned out looking superb, says um, uh, says Angela. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, Cherry. Yeah, okay. You're, you're getting it. Okay, that you can... Oh, yeah, Vivian, yes, yeah, says that I can blend with them. Oh, yes. Oh, two, yes. Yes, most definite. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, this apple looks like, looks like it's got one eye. Sorry, I had to put that in there. I couldn't help myself. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice apple. Oh, hi, Nan. Hello. Is there a medium designed uh, to be used for this? Well, it just so happens. Yes. This one. It's a painting, it's called Painting Medium Blue and it's for thinning. And as you can see, it's actually quite um, watery, viscous. Uh, look, I'm going to test it on here on the side. So I will test it because I just want to see. But you know what? I haven't needed 
to use it <laughs> so far. I don't get that. I just um, a bit blown away with that. Uh, I just need a smaller, thinner brush now. Uh, yeah, and no, like as far as um, there's no smell. So actually, Nan, this would be good for you because you've got cats galore around and no smell, no smell. Oh, and for those who have got pets that um, uh, like me now because I'm one of those people as well now that have got pets around uh, to keep us company no I need a smaller brush why did I do that ah I can erase that I have got an eraser an oil painting eraser it's a wipe off tool. Will it wipe off? Maybe not. Well, I didn't have enough paint down there. But I usually use this, as you can see, it's well used. Because I'm forever wiping off paint. Okay, all right. Leave that alone for a minute. Uh, okay, Gilgamesh, are you MD? I think you're MD. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, we are celebrating New Year today. Happy New Year, Abigail. Uh, okay, we ate apple with honey at, um, as a symbol of a sweet New Year. Oh, beautiful. That's perfect then. <laughs> okay. She makes me sound like a crazy cat lady. I have three cats. <laughs> well, I have two dogs. So you one up on me. There you go. Okay. I love birth. <laughs> there you go. All right. So. Um, uh, what did I do there? There we go. <laughs> I need something darker there. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't have done that. So I need shadow. Okay. Uh, can you use water to correct it like acrylics? Well, let's have a look. I've just cleaned the brush in a clean... Oh, yes is the answer. Well, as much as I possibly can. Hmm. I know, all right. I'm okay with this. I've got so many things that I want to do, so many projects but I've got so many unfinished ones so I've got to finish anything before I start um, okay yes I am MDC I've got a very good memory um, okay do you uh, you do make it look so easy it's looking great <laughs> thank you Abigail <laughs> oh dear so no gum Arabic at, no no gum Arabic <laughs> nope okay alright well you know what let me see. This is cool. I really like this. I really like this. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I like this surface as well. I really like this surface. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can mix uh, some because uh, this is my experimenting page so it's nice to see how it works like that um, I'm not going to do too much to it I th I'm okay with this um, maybe just a little bit here yeah just there yeah I'm not going to do too much I'm actually going to see uh, okay I got um, I got into graphite portraits yes you're into it yes I saw and you and I saw Tina Turner very nice recognizable straight away I knew exactly um, uh, who it was now I'm going to see if I can mix some really nice skin tones uh, and I'll, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to do it here I'll just put this water just so happens I've got clean water here as well so what I'll do is I'm going to mix I'm going to mix some skin tones here and see how nicely they mix so uh, I've got my ultramarine here I'll do that ultramarine I think uh, I've got my now this one is the uh, sorry let me just get it out not the poppy red because that's got orange in it so not that one where did it go how do these things disappear in front of me oh my gosh uh, matter red that's it there and the uh, lemon yellow so that that uh, I've and I'm also using the uh, burnt sienna there we go uh, burnt sienna and of course titanium white okay so let's see if I can mix some really nice uh, skin tones so uh, how about um, uh, uh, light and a bit of oh that made black <laughs> let's do that again Okay, mixed uh, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and the matter red. Uh, just, just a little bit more of the burnt sienna. Uh, a little bit of the yellow. Okay. Very light. Put a bit of red in that. A oh, yellow, sorry. There we go. There we go. So this is a light flesh color. Very nice, very nice. We can keep on going. Uh, let me see if I can get a darker skin tone. little bit more of the ultramarine blue a little bit of the yellow a bit of the burnt sienna beautiful and just so you can see the color usually add white really really nice I'm really really happy with that oh yes beautiful a little bit of the yellow in that 
There we go. That did it. Beautiful. Really, really love that. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to put some on here and see how on the canvas, see how it goes. Yeah, just have a, quite a few pa paper towels. Okay, let's have a look. I just want to have a look at the um, the chat. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, okay. Okay, Avogad says, yeah, have you heard of Stabilo? Stabilo all? Okay, they are pencils that write over everything and they are water soluble. I have the black and the white and accidentally I've ordered the rest of the colors so pigmented accidentally. Yeah, accidentally. Okay. Hi Shandri, hello, hello. Um yeah, okay. that's so funny. All right, so let's have a go. <laughs> Uh, accidentally. Well, I've never heard of it. Well, Stabilo, as in, do you mean as in the, um, oh, hang on. I'm going to use this medium just so we, so we know what that is. I'm going to pour some out in here because we need to try it. I need to try the, the medium. Uh, let me see what, there is a, a slight, uh, there is a, a mild smell. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know how much to use, so. Oh, really? Okay. Um, okay, well, let's use the medium. Instead of the water, that is, you know? Uh, I want to see what it does. Okay, changes the, oh, sorry, you didn't see that. Let's do that again. Uh, changes the viscosity and it thins it. It makes it more, um, Wow, there's a bit of uh, shine on it, probably because it's wet. I don't know. But yeah, really interesting. So there you go. That's the that's the thinning medium. Uh, hi, Shay. Welcome to the chat. Uh, I used Stabilo in all my art journal. They are great. I've never heard of this. Interesting. Okay. All right. So I'll just put this aside. I'll put that aside and I'll just leave that here so you can see that. And of course, in my water, okay. All right. So let me just paint out what I've just done here. I just want to see how the colors um, uh, paint on this uh, canvas. Lovely. All right. Uh, wow, I, I love the surface. I really love the surface. Oh. I made a really nice mauve here, by the way, without realizing it. Okay. Uh, let me see. I have accidents like that too, says Cherry. Yes. Uh, I haven't heard. Okay. What's this? I have. Don't you make abstract art? Yes. I do make abstract art, MD. All the time. Uh, have I missed something? Please, have I missed something? Okay. All right. Well, I'll just keep on going. Wow. 
Wow, I like this a lot. I like it a lot. Hmm. What do you think? Would you, if you, if you, if, if, well, here's a, a, a situation. If you've held off from using oils because of the mess, I understand. Or have you held off oils because of the drying time, which is a lot of us? I mean, that's the one thing that gets me. I just, oh, I get so impatient as well with the drying time. Yes. Um would you consider oil painting as well as part of a medium that if you can get something like this I really do like the way you know it's in you know what of course I love the oils but it's the surface that I'm actually in love with so much um Truly, the surface is really nice. I really like it. It's not smooth, you know, like you would if it was a panel. I like that texture. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I see for me at the moment, I'm it's so expensive. Like, you know, I love pastels. That is my love. You know that I love it. But you know what? I, I really am not keen on the framing the framing is costing me an arm and a leg so would I go into oil painting and not having to worry about framing yes you know okay do you have course is the uh, a course oh in um, teaching oil paint uh, well look uh, well that's a good segue a good segue into my patreon channel so for all of those who are interested um, I do have a patreon channel and that's a channel where we do some really interesting projects uh, the description of where to find me um, sorry the the link where to find me is in the description box below and with with my patreon it's more of um, giving you confidence uh, to go off and do your own thing and in the meantime we do unusual projects so if there's something that you wanted to learn in uh, all you've got to do is say well can we do this in this medium even if it's a medium that I'm not really fussed on not not that I'm fussed on but one that always gives me problems and that's acrylics and that's because of the drying time <laughs> if anything else I've done acrylics and I keep on going back to it uh, hoping that my painting style will adapt but it doesn't I need time to you know to work uh, uh, to work with it so this is um, uh, my thing with it but yes, uh, if you wanted, if you wanted uh, to do a um, something on oils, by all means, we can do it. No problem. Yes. Now, what I'm doing now, the reason, what, what I'm doing now is just applying the paint, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gently blend and show you how really nicely this blends on this surface so um, really good skin tones here um, love all of this here all right so let me just do that okay what brush are you using uh, I'm using the Winton Winsor & Newton number two it's a, a, a filbert a fi oh, it's yeah filbert fine there it is there I <laughs> I just looked at that rather than that, but yeah, it's a filbert. So it's really nice. I'm going to chop that because I don't like how long it is. I, I, anyway, so let's put that aside. 
I'm going to blend. Uh, this is a uh, from Royal Langnickel. It's a mop brush, uh, soft bristles, and I use these to blend. Uh, I use these brushes uh, to make soft blends, and I've got different sizes. Uh, you know, different sizes. And uh, I'll get cracking with that. And I'm going to start off with the lights. Oh, it's just nice, soft feathering. I'm only just gently, just gently uh, touching the surface. Uh, oh, yes, I really like that. That's very nice. Really nice. Oh, I'll have to do some research and see if Claire Fontaine make this in big canvases. Or what's the biggest canvas pad that they can get. Because I like the canvas pads. They're very easy to work with. Hang on, I just need to put more white here. Uh, okay, Nan says, that raccoon, hang on, uh, that raccoon left when I took the catnip plants off my desk. They love catnip. Kidding. Are you kidding? No, you're not kidding. Um, okay, I highly recommend them if only the black. Um, it's a rich black and all the mixed media artists love this pencil. Well, I'm going to have to have a look at that. Um, Abigail. Okay, let's see. Uh, there are only about nine colors and they wipe off shiny surfaces with a damp cloth. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking, okay, if I'm looking at the right ones. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just lovely blending here. Okay, I'm talking, ab oh, I'm talking about the oil paints. Are you looking at something different? Oh, okay. Not kidding, Chrissy. I googled and the internet never lies. <laughs> <laughs> the raccoon left when I took the catnip plants off my desk. Okay. All right. So let me, okay, oh, I really do like this surface. It really is nice. It really is nice. Okay, I want to put some, uh, I want to put, uh, oh, hang on. I won't use the water. I'll use the medium. And, oh, hang on. Wait a minute. You need to see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the medium. And... Because I want to paint a shadow here. More blue. There we go. I've got the violet that I want. Sort of more on the bluey side, but yes. Lovely. I just really, really love this. And I need to darken a few things, so this is perfect. Oh, beautiful. I just love this. Shouldn't do too much to it. Okay, so again, rinsing. 
in water. Yes, I think I've, um, I might, um, might do a portrait in oils, I think. Um, do I want to try another medium? Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Okay, Helen, okay. Well, we'll put, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, well, uh, put some uh, paints in your cart too, Jerry. Okay. Um, are those the pads with the word toil on the front? I, I'm going to show you right now, Helen. Okay, just give me a minute. Give me two seconds and I'll show you. All right, just let me put that aside for the moment. This is the one. Yeah, are those the pads with the word yes on the front? There you go. Uh, okay, what medium is it, um, Shay? Uh, this is the medium. Painting medium, thinning. Okay. Uh, this is Schmincke Water Soluble Oils. Exactly what Abigail said, Shay. Exactly. Uh, I like the mixing advantage. Um, I can't, uh, I just can't with the drying time. Yeah, it's a problem for me. Yeah, I know. I know. You've got to somehow, yeah, of course. But, you know, you can add, um, you can, I, uh, I didn't, I didn't get it, but um, maybe I should have. There is a, uh, another medium for the water soluble ones where it, uh, quick drying. So I should have got that. Okay. Oh, you have that in your stash somewhere. Fantastic. And MD, yeah, I'm going to... Born at the... Ne yeah, okay. Not sure what that means, MD, but I'm sure it's okay. Um, and just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I totally get it. But wow. I'm loving this a lot. Okay. So... All right, so we had a look at that. Uh, I wanted to just to have a look at the colors, the extra colors which I thought would be, apart from the primaries, I, well, we know what the magenta is, but um, uh, I just want to see what the violet is like. And is it worth, oh wow, that's beautiful. Or is it worth making your own? I don't know. So we'll see. I'm going to try my oils with the formula. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Cobalt turquoise hue. Beautiful. Okay. So let's have a look. Wow, look how rich. It's almost like imperial violet. And the only way to tell... The colour is by putting white next to it. That's how you can that's how you can always tell what colour it is when it's like that. Oh, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Imperial, what's this? Imperial violet. Dioxazine, it just dioxazine violet. Beautiful. And let's have a look at this one. This is the cobalt turquoise. You. let's mix it and see what happens oh. <gasps> makes a lovely purple oh yes even because don't forget there is or P, PW7 is white PG18 green PB16 it's the, a blue so we're not creating mud here and we're making an even nicer um, uh, purple and oh look at that lovely turquoise okay so what I'm going to do here is get a little bit more white Hang on, here we go. 
Okay. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Okay, here. Can you see it? Oh, bugger. There we go. Just add a bit more white in there. And so this is clean water. Just have a look. Lovely. Okay, so uh, I won't use that one because I've already used that. I need to clean that. Uh, let's blend with this one. I need a bigger brush. That's beautiful. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Oh my gosh. I think I need to try these oils for portraits. I think it would be really cool. Really, who's, who's going? Who's going? Nuri is going. Oh, Nuri. Okay, good night, my dear. Good night. Thanks. Thanks for popping by to say hello and thanks for joining in on the chat. Okay, all I'm doing now is just washing these brushes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful. Or rinsing them, actually, what I'm doing, not washing them, rinsing them. I am just so, so, so pleased with this. Okay, are you making an abstract? It's like a shadow for the apple in the sky. Yes, it is, isn't it? Oh, it is too. It's like a cloud, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this a lot. So what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think about these? I think very nice. But you know what? It's it's something that that's it's not very popular. The white, the water soluble oils, and um, and I, I I don't know why I listened to other people and didn't give them a go until now. I don't understand. For me, they they work like oils. They they. Like they perform, perform like oils. They squeeze out like oils. In, the difference with these ones is they're nice and buttery. Uh, and the, of course the difference is, is that I'm rinsing with water. So I think not bad. I think not bad. Hi Sarah. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you here my darling. Hope all is well with you today. Um... I love them. I think I'll be getting them. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. They're buttery. You're not struggling to, or you saw me, and of course you saw me squeezing these out. Um, they came out very smooth. I didn't have to force anything. Well, not with this batch anyway. Uh, what, what else can I say? Yeah, really nice. And of course, I've also got the Messini. Uh, and it's a different, the Messini Schmincke is a, is a resin oil. The Messini from memory, uh, what it does, it dries from the inside out. The Norma Professional dry from the outside in. And the Norma Blue, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I suppose from the outside in. I don't know. Well worth giving them a go. Um, uh, Shandri says, are they much different than the normal acrylic? Oh, hang on, let me see. Um, let me see. Cherry says, I think they look beautiful. Avagar says, they are beautiful. Chrissy, do you need to use uh, use oil, oil? Look, I think you can use anything you want. Um... I think you can use anything you want, whatever. To be honest, I, I don't think there are any rules. All it does, it depends on how you pick up the uh, what the bristle what the bristle brushes pick up and how it's applied on the surface. And it all depends how smooth or how rough the surface is. If if the if the surface is smoother, then having soft bristles is okay. 
I think the the hog hair ones or the ones that are more for acrylic and oils are built for the canvas more than it is for the paint so this is so if you know it depends on the surface I, I feel I feel anyway uh, I think it should go on my wish list yes uh, okay and Chandra says are they much different than the normal acrylics uh, well yes they are because um, you mean as in buttery uh, smooth uh, these feel a little bit more heavy bodied um, feel more solid than the acrylics I feel Shandri yeah maybe more yeah they're just uh, you know when you've got butter and it's at room temperature and it's just smoothing on your on your on your bread on your slice of bread that's how these are uh, okay okay nice and soft for small children's portraits yes yes okay yeah uh, Chandra says yeah I would like to know what the real differences are between water soluble oil and acrylics you know that's interesting because of course you know you rinse them out in water don't you yeah I suppose that's a chemist thing I don't know I haven't looked into the the yeah oh it's very interesting indeed indeed okay what would the drying time for these oh like normal oils see oh, I'm not quite sure whether you saw this Shandri uh, before you came in before you came in last night I was having a play with these again and they're still wet like oil but you know what's good is I can wash these out with water <laughs> my hands and it'll be okay yeah it's it performs like oil I don't I don't understand the the chemist side of it but yeah very very nice I really really do like it well I think um, okay if you have normal oils you can convert them to water soluble oils no I've never heard of that if you have normal oils you can convert them to water soluble oils Sarah how 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 uh, okay depends on how thick you okay it's the binder in acrylic paint it's acrylic there you go our chemist Abigail I have some Cobra talons uh, gifted me but never tried them give it a go because that might be really good for you especially Shandri and if you're sensitive to turpentine or mineral spirits or anything like that you don't need to use that and I'm thinking well you know what this is very very lush and the test is going to be for me the test is going to be for me is when I photograph them because oils are extremely difficult to photograph and that is because of the oil right so I'm going to see what this is going to be like after it dries because you know how sometimes there's a sheen um, and that's uh, yeah that is due to the mediums and stuff like that I'm going to see how this photographs because that's going to be the game changer for me oh no I'm not a fan of those long drying times yeah I know but you got to take the good with the bad don't you <laughs> yeah I have them as well still sealed I'm scared to use them Abigail Nike <laughs> Nike <laughs> yeah so photographing them I think would be really cool and if they photograph well well I think I'll be using oils more because it's the shine you see all right well I think I'm going to leave it there for today I'm really excited about this I'm really 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 excited I just did not expect it I did not expect it I didn't expect it I love the way they mix I love the way they lay down um, the only con is the drying of course um, I love mixing colors using medium oh, okay hi Jill okay you could try alkyd oils yeah four to eight working time yeah yeah you could do that I believe that there is not 
there's not so much shine yes yeah yeah so I'm excited very excited cool stuff cool stuff extremely interesting tonight by all tonight okay well look thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you have a lovely weekend and a lovely next week and uh who knows might start an oil painting subject next week how about i do that it's okay uh before we go uh sarah says it's made by schminka some say using dawn dishwashing stuff works too but i'd personally not bother with the dawn uh, that's that's a detergent I know Dawn okay thanks for sharing this Chrissy no you're welcome Helen okay sad I missed the live um, Apple is beautiful thank you have a great weekend thank you all again uh, bye for now and uh, we'll talk again soon